How am I ever supposed to make your life a better thing? Oh. How am I ever supposed to help you? Well, How... I'm... no. I'm sorry, I thought I was speaking. Sorry, but... Do you want me to try to help you or not? Well, yeah, obviously, but well, I'm not happy then. with people talking to me the way that they're talking to me at the minute, to be honest. I would suggest to you that the pot calling the kettle black is the phrase that springs to mind. Do you know what that means? Not a clue. And do you know what an argo is? A what? In olden days, when people used to have huge, you know, big metal stoves and things where they burnt wood inside oh, and they so had their big metal pot on top. No, you haven't. They had a big metal pot on top. I see him more than I'd see my friends at school. I'm with him so much. But sometimes I just can't deal with him sometimes. It's just his voice just sometimes goes in through this ear and out the other. So utterly yeah. rude and dismissive. Two members of staff. It's ridiculous. Oh my god, a bit sir. Like a I got annoyed. The I got annoyed about black. the fact. No, no, no. Can you listen to me now? I got annoyed about the fact that he told me what to do in my study support. I would be perfectly happy That's fine. if he did. I went and did it in the end. So why am I getting told off for this? Because I should imagine that during the conversation that you adopted that incredibly rude. What, so I was the only one being rude, sir. Why are you turning around and talking to my colleague while I'm talking to you? Because I don't want to listen to this. I know you don't, but I want you to listen. But I'm fed up of listening. OK, and I'm, I'm fed up of your home. behaviour. Can I have my report? I'm fed up of your behaviour. Can behavior. I go home? A bunch of idiots. I'm actually so fed up of this school, you're all idiots. Do we not try hard enough for you? Uh, yeah, but you just don't listen to me. As soon as Mr Ringshaw comes along, tells you a load of awe. Oh, it's telling you, oh, God's sake. Okay, when you're ready to come back in, come back in. Can I have my report? I'm going home. Not until I've finished talking Why? to you. Why? Because this is my time, obviously. Okay, I'll just ring your mum and I'll make it my time. Oh, my God. Oh, my days. Give me my report, I'm going home. No. Give me my report. I'm not sure how that works on your friends, but it doesn't work on me. I wasn't even being naughty. I did all my work. You didn't even look. Can you give me my report, please? OK. I would like you to recognise... I don't th care. After it happened, I come to see you mm -hmm. because I wanted to tell you mm -hmm. what had happened, but Miss Betts was sitting here and you can even ask her. Okay. And she said that you was teaching. Which I was. So it wasn't like I was just trying to have an argument with him. Right. I was coming here to ask you if I could have five minutes to sit okay. with you. Right, fine. And if I'd been here, then that would have happened. Well, you're looking at me like I'm some sort of prat. I absolutely am not. If I thought that, <laughs> would I still be trying to have the conversation I'm not being with horrible, you? But about something, but that doesn't matter because... How does it not matter? No, can you just hurry up? I'm really fed up of talking about it. Perhaps we'll talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> Vic always talks about children having lots of doors to go through, and every time they get something wrong, they close another door. And I always see that with someone like Molly. She would slam every single door shut in her own face until there were no doors and she was trapped in the room, to be honest. Your total inability to have manners shames you. So we've got to constantly be running around the room, pushing the doors back open again. And then she'll shut them again. But eventually we'll hold them open by a crack and they won't shut and they'll be fine. So she can do whatever she wants to do. But not on her own. Not on her own. So what happens is you get a graph at the end of the year and every single one of these dots represents a student. All these people in this area here, what do they all have in common? And do you know what they all have in common from last year? They're all naughty. <laughs> you are at the moment at risk of significantly underachieving. You are. It's because I'm stupid. No, you're not stupid. You're stupidly behaved. There's a very big difference. You're not stupid, Molly. Molly, report. Oh yeah. What? <laughs> You're not walking around all day like that. Why? <laughs> you know exactly why. Go and take it off. Oh, sir! We spend so much time together. Always together. Always, like, since I was younger. I don't like the ch changing. I'm the sort of person that likes... Like, I like structure in my life. I don't know, I just... I would like structured things. That is much better. In my humble opinion, as your deputy head teacher in your report to, <laughs> that is much better. Much more natural, much more you. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much. How are things with Mr Drew then at the minute? Been getting all right with him, having a bit of bants. You know. <laughs>
Remember to be nice to your mum. Um, mum, I left my phone on the bus this morning. I've got a number, um, but I need to go to lesson, so we... And I know what number bus I was on as well. Would you be able to ring them for me, please? OK, and um, Mum, I haven't got detention after school. Wait, give me the phone for a um, second, hello. Wait, Mr Drew, what's this for? Hello, Mr Drew here. I can just... I can confirm all the things she's telling you. I just feel I'll do that just in case, you know. Molly understands, you know, that I have to sometimes do these things. <laughs> OK, all right, no problem, yeah. All right. Bye. Mum's sorting it out. Make, listen to me, seriously. Yeah. Make sure you thank her and be nice to her, OK? Yeah. This could be a... Listen, this could be a real moment for you to just, you know, build a few bridges, Molly, you know? When I've been really you. good this weekend. Molly could do absolutely anything she wanted to do. Molly, Molly would be a really good teacher. Molly would be a fantastic teacher. She would have great empathy and understanding with young people. She'd be great at anything whatsoever which channelled her talents. Oh, sir, look. You look sophisticated. Yes. <laughs> yes, you do. Changes to children's behaviour is made by little steps. They don't change overnight. It's ridiculous to think they're going to. Let me try and find you another tie. She'll do it in the end on her own, but she's not there yet and she's a long way from being it, so everyone's got to keep pushing the doors back open again until eventually she decides to do it herself. Hey, 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 hey. Molly, be good. All right, that's all right. I'll see you at break Wait, time. Break time, where are you going to be? Are you in here? I'm always here for you. Thanks, Mr Drew. <laughs> <laughs>